Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Mrs. Sally from the Naples Library, and I'm here today to give you your story time. So let's sing the welcome song. <clears throat> it's story time. Come on, grab your friends. We'll go to imagination's end. Through song and laugh, there's lots of learning in the fun. Never ends. It's story time. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be learning all about bubbles. Bubbles are so much fun for so many people. I don't know a person who doesn't like bubbles. So we have a fun interactive activity for us to do and I have it set up in my experimentation station here. So the cool activity we're going to do is blowing bubbles to make bubble print paper. This paper is lightly printed with bubbles all over it. Can you see some bubbles on that paper? And that's a pretty easy thing to do. When we're done with this bubble paper, then we can draw on it, we can write on it and send messages to our friends and our family. We can hang it on the refrigerator or we can make all sorts of different kinds and save them for later too. So today we're going to be doing that as our experiment and we're also going to read a bubble book. The first part of this, the bubble paper, how we start is we have a bowl and we fill the bowl partially with water. Not all the way, just a little bit. We're gonna, I filled my bowl a little less than half full of water. We're also going to need some soap. Oh, I'm backwards, oh my goodness. Let me fix us, sorry guys. Boop, okay. We're also going to need some soap. We're also going to need some food coloring. I have some green food coloring here. This is the only food coloring they have left at the town, uh, the store in town. Um, I did try to get gel food coloring. Do not use this. This does not work. I have several experiments over there that did not work with gel. So it doesn't dissolve the same in water is the, the problem with that. Um, so try a whole bunch of different colors if you can get them. It's fun to have lots of different bowls full of colors. You can have purple and green and blue and yellow and red. All the colors are super great and you can overlap the colors to make cool colored bubble paper. But today in the library we're going to just do green because that's what we have. We're also going to need a spoon to stir things up. And finally, we'll need a straw and a nice strong pair of lungs. So, this is how you do it. We're gonna take this food coloring and we're gonna put more than you might expect. Quite a bit. We're gonna put quite a bit in our water. Make it really nice and dark, very colory. We're also gonna put about six pumps of soap in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we do that, we're gonna stir it up with our spoon. All right, I think we're pretty well mixed here. Put my spoon over here on my paper towel so it doesn't leak everywhere. And now we're gonna start the fun part, the part that everybody loves. With your good strong lungs, you're going to take a straw, put it right in this water, and... And once we've done quite a bit of that, we've got all of our bubbles coming way up. Whoop. Spills are normal, don't worry about those. We always have paper towels for our spills. <laughs> accidents happen. Once our bubbles are way up out of our water, we're going to take a piece of thick paper, like cardstock paper, and smoosh it down on those bubbles. We have a little bit of color happening here, and we're going to do it again. Let's try it again. Big mound of bubbles, and smoosh. Smoosh, smoosh. Do a bunch of that. See, we have more, and we have some bubbles that are staying on there, and that's okay too. 
Those will eventually pop and make a cool print. Just dab it on the top like that. Smush all those bubbles down. See all of our bubble print there? Try another color. Blend some colors together. Try some purple with some green. Right now, I'll just use green. <laughs> All right, and once we have the whole piece of paper covered, we'll set it over on the side and let it dry. Let all those bubbles dry and soon you'll have a paper that's covered in really cool bubble designs. You can use all kinds of colors to do that too. You can also use a different colored paper. See how the, the colors mix when you use a different colored paper. I have pink here and let me use some green on it. Whoa, look at all those bubbles. Green on pink. What will that make? Let's see. Can we see the bubbles super well? The darker colored paper you have, the less you'll see your bubbles. Some bubbles are big, some bubbles are little. So I've got my pink piece of paper here and I'm gonna let that sit with some bubbles. My other piece of paper, all of my bubbles have started to pop and you can see all these cool bubbles on this sheet. Isn't that neat? They're starting to pop on my pink one too. You can kind of see that we're making a marbling effect on there. You can see some bubbles starting to take form on the paper. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna let all those pop and we're gonna read a book and then I'll show you what they look like in the end, okay? Let's move the station over, scooch forward, and read us a book. So not all bubbles are made with soap. Some bubbles are made with gum, bubble gum to be exact. And sometimes when we blow bubbles with bubble gum, it gets stuck. It gets stuck in our hair. Sometimes we accidentally play with our bubble gum and it gets stuck way up there in our hair. Oh no. So do you know how to get bubble gum out of, a, out of your hair? Well, I have the perfect book for you if you're wondering how to get bubble gum out of your hair. Lots of people have lots of ways to get gum out of hair, but this is the book that you want if you get gum in your hair. This book is called On Account of the Gum by Adam Rex. And we'll see how we get gum out of our hair by reading this book. In the beginning, we see a little kid and they're sleeping in their bed and out of their mouth comes some bubble gum. So they wake up in the morning and they walk out of their hallway and they notice they've got bubble gum in their hair. Oh no! That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. Yuck oh, sticky, icky, pink bubble gum. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still, and your sister said, duck, and you sat very still. They were gonna try to get it out with scissors. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, okay, we went to some websites and all of them swear that if you get scissors and gum in your hair, you take two sticks of butter and you smear them along. Two sticks of butter to get 
gum out of hair. I've heard that one before. You smear them along and, oh, I see. It appears that those websites were wrong. Now he's got two sticks of butter in his hair along with scissors and bubble gum. That's not how you get bubble gum out of your hair. Don't give me that look. What look? Your aunt said that she knew how to get gum out from a tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, anyway, that's why you have grass in your hair. Grass? That's how you get bubble gum out? With grass? I don't think so. So you've got grass and butter and scissors and gum in your hair now. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. Yuck! It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Yuck! Hmm, your rabbit eats grass. Oh boy, your rabbit does eat grass, but because of the grass that you've got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there. But your rabbit just sat, like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. <sighs> so now we've got a rabbit. We have noodles and bacon, grass, butter, scissors, and gum in hair. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Bringing the cat in didn't do anything. The bunny is still there. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch, she'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. <sighs> So they're gonna get a vacuum out to get the cat and the bunny and the bacon and the noodles and the butter and the grass and the scissors and the gum out of your hair. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm thinking of the old cat. This cat is not scared of vacuum cleaners. And so now you have a vacuum cleaner in your hair. Your aunt just came back. She has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming round here anymore. Though the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. <gasps> we kicked her out, but she dropped the cake. The cake? What was the cake for? <gasps> that reminds me, happy birthday. You don't get a cake anymore. Sorry about that. Good thing you have gum in your hair and you're having a great day. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We'll blow out the gum with a powerful fan. Plus, every few minutes we'll pop a balloon. And the guy with the bees said he'd get here soon. And oh, I hear sirens, the firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of the, those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili. They're ready to <gasps> stop, you exclaim. Get out, please. Uh, okay, <laughs> everybody says, and they pack up their things and they get right out. Sorry, guy with the bees. And with everyone else, the gum says cheese and wood <whistles> hops out too. The gum leaves. 
just like that. So that's the solution. Well, <laughs> what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. <laughs> that they tried to use to get the gum out of there. Whoop, now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? I don't know, she keeps coming back even though we kicked her out. Anyway, you'd better get to school. Because today is picture day. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to miss it on account of the gum. The end. Such a silly, silly story. And not really a great solution for getting gum out of our hair, right? Honestly, I've found, because I have really long hair, the best way to get gum out of hair when you get it stuck in there is conditioner. Good old handy conditioner. It's nice and slippery, and it's the best way to get gum to do a thing and get out of your hair. Hopefully, you don't have to cut it. Depends on where you get it stuck though. All right, for the last thing today, of course we have some sign language to learn in case we cannot hear or the person that we're speaking to cannot hear. One way to tell them is to use sign language. So if we're trying to say bubbles to somebody in sign language, we just pretend that there are bubbles in the air with both of our hands and they're popping. That's how you say bubbles. Bubbles. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I really had a great time. Oh yeah, so sorry. Check out our bubble paper. Isn't that cool? So there's no bubbles left on this paper. See, it's just paper, regular paper, but it looks like there's bubbles all over it. That part's my favorite. Isn't that neat? So cool, I'm gonna go home and draw something on this. And I hope that you'll draw something too today. This is our other piece of paper. This has bubbles all over it too. I like the pink one better though, I think. And it also matches our bubble gum. All right, everybody, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you for coming and learning about bubbles with me, and I'll see you sometime next week. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great one. Bye-bye.